Hey everybody, this is 1.5 Independent Practice. Um, try to attempt this worksheet on your own and then play the video. It'll give you a better feel of how you're, how you're doing with this section of our curriculum. All right. So if you want, feel free to pause and resume the video when you're ready. All they ask you to do here is name the relationship, complementary, linear pair, vertical, or adjacent. Okay, remember complementary is 90 degrees or a right angle. Linear pair is a straight line or 180 degrees. Okay, vertical is our bow tie. And adjacent means that they share a vertex and a line. Or a ray, I should say. Okay, so if you notice here A and B, okay, they create a straight line, so they're a linear pair. These are also adjacent. If you look at number three, it's just adjacent. They share a vertex and a ray. Two, same deal. Adjacent. Okay. And four, you have your box here showing your right angle. Okay, so this is complementary. And they're also adjacent. Okay. Same deal here. You have A and B, but look, they make that bow tie shape that we were talking about. Those are vertical. A and B here, now be careful, although we do see a straight line, angles A and B do not make that straight line, so these are just adjacent. A and B here, though, do make that straight line, so that's a linear pair, as well as adjacent. And last, again, you have A and B. Two straight lines make that bow tie shape. These are vertical. Okay, here they say find the measure of angle B. So here we have these two angles, angle B and the one that's 50 degrees creating a straight line. So B plus 50 equals 180 minus 50 on both sides, and B equals 130 degrees. Here, you have your bow tie shape. Vertical angles equal each other, so B equals 43 degrees. Here, they show us this circle here, and that's a reason, because an entire circle is the creation of these angles, okay, which equals 360. We know a circle equals 360. So B plus 96 plus 209 equals 360. Okay, if we combine like terms, 96 plus 209 makes 305. So B plus 305 equals 360. Subtract those 305s from both sides, and B equals 360 minus 305 is 55 degrees. Okay, so squeeze your 55 degrees in there. For number 12, I see in the corner here is that little box signifying that these are complementary or right angles. So B plus 63 equals 90 minus 63 on both sides. And B equals 90 minus 63, which is 27 degrees. Okay, let's change up this color. Here we have a linear pair that make a straight line so B plus 35 equals 180. Subtract 35 on both sides, 
and B equals 180 minus 35, it's 145 degrees. Okay, if we notice here, we have B and 29, and that box in the corner means they're complementary, so they equal 90 degrees. B plus 29 equals 90. Subtract 29 on both sides, and B is equal to 61 degrees. Here again, we have that one with the circle. So B plus 94 plus 243 equals a total of 360 degrees. If we combine our like terms, we have 243 plus 94, which equals 337 degrees. Subtract your 337 from both sides, and B equals 360 minus 337 gives you 23 degrees. So angle B is 23 degrees. 16 here, you have a linear pair. <clears throat> B plus 49 equals 180. Minus 49 on both sides, and B equals 131. Okay, in this bottom corner here, we have vertical angles again for 17, which means B is equal to 90 degrees. Same thing here for number 18. We have vertical angles again. That means they are congruent. B equals 73 degrees. Okay, if we take a look at 19, we have a linear pair because there's a straight line. Okay, so that means these two angles equal 180 degrees. 3x plus 18 plus 93 equal 180. Okay, so 3x equal, oh, not equals, excuse me, 3x. 18 plus 93 makes 111, which equals 180. Subtract your 111 on both sides, and 3x equals 180 minus 111, which is 69. Divide both sides by 3, and x equals 23. Now, in order to find the angle, we now have to plug that in. So let me see if I could just take all this and move it up a little. Okay, so x equals 23 degrees. And now I need to plug that in for 3x plus 18. 3 times 23 plus 18. Well, we know 3 times 23 is 69 plus 18 gives you 87 degrees. All right, last, well, third to last one. Here, we have 360 degrees, so x minus 24 plus 29 plus 296 equals 360. So let's combine our like terms. 296 plus 29 minus 24. When we combine those three, we get 301. So x plus 301 equals 360 minus 301 on both sides. x equals... 59. Now you have to solve 59 minus 24. And if you throw that in your calculator, you get 35 degrees.
All right, here we have vertical angles again, which means we know they are congruent. So 2 plus 3x equals 62 minus 2 on both sides. 3x equals 60. Divide by 3 on both sides, x equals 20. Plug that in, 2 plus 3 times 20 is 2 plus 60, which is 62. Last one. We see 90 degrees right here. We see a straight line which means that these two angles must add up to 90 degrees. 6x plus 2 plus 40 equals 90. 6x plus 42 equals 90. And subtract by 42 on both sides. 6x equals 90 minus 42 is 48 degrees. Divide by 6. And x equals 48 divided by 6 is 8. Okay, Your angle is 6 times 8 plus 2. 6 times 8 is 48 plus 2 is 50 degrees. Okay. So that's how to use your angle pairs in order to solve for missing angles and degrees. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to submit your work via email or Google Voice.